Hoffman's going up against not only the favorite of the tournament, but a crowd favorite. Even here in Germany, he's probably got as much support as Chris Nicky's got. And he tries the right hand bomb oh. early, and there's a jab, and that's going to be scored as a knockdown. The fight barely underway, and Savon caught Chris Nicky with a hard left that hurt him. He even takes the count and rushed the tone for this match has now been set. It looks like Savon wanted to go out there and take this guy out quickly. Krasnicki walked into that straight left jab, and although he wasn't hurt by it, because the glove touched the floor, it has to be considered a knockdown. The ref had no, no alternative but to give him the standing eight. German comes back gamely. He beat a Turkish fighter to advance. Savon dispatched a French boxer in his semifinal. He was unchallenged on his side of the draw. And this fight looks like it could follow the same pattern. I don't think there's anybody that's going to be able to touch Savon. I mean, he's technically perfect. He's experienced. He's strong. I mean, it, what would it take to beat a guy like this? Is somebody that's going to be an equal to him? And I mean, Chris Nicky's got his 70 odd fights going up against the 200 of Savon. How do you expect to win that way? Russ, things have settled down now since Savon caught Chris Nicky in the first 10 seconds and scored the eight count on him. You can see how crude Chris Nicky is when he throws his punches. They almost look novice-like as compared to Savon. Look at Savon. Big, well-muscled, great shape. He could make a whole lot of money as a pro rust, but he's loyal to Cuba. Boxing there for over a decade, and therein lies the story of the success of the Cuban boxing team. Well, he's loyal, but I don't know that he has much of an alternative uh, than having to be. But we know how well the sport heroes are taken care of behind the Iron Curtain in Cuba is still a communist state and they are revered and Felix Saban who now is going for number five world title as we know is the most revered of them all. Saban won this class in 86, 89, 91 and 93. He and Teofilo Stevenson have won six of the seven titles in this division. Stevenson moved up to super heavyweight in 1982. Krasnicki holding on at every chance he gets, and Savon now deciding to try the right hand to the body. It worked for him a little earlier, and he's trying it again, trying to take the wind out of Krasnicki. You know, you've got to envy a guy like Krasnicki. Here he is in the finals of the World Championship against Felix Savon. I don't know how happy he is about that. Savon trying to push him off to get the punching room he needs to unleash that vaulted right hand. Trying it again to the body. Final minute of round number one, and Felix Savon of Cuba holding a 2 0 lead. Oh, and a hard right to the body took the wind out of Krasnicki, as you thought it might, Russ. Takes another count, and if you want an example of uh, how body shots don't often score, that could be one. I don't think it's come up on the computer. We've lost this. No, it hasn't. An eight count, so obviously the blow was there, and no scoring blow registered. Now, I know this is Felix Saban, and we're not going to be too much of a worry about him here right now, and I'm sure he's not worrying about it. But when you think of some of the other fighters where the same things has happened to them, you know, it's, it's just totally unfair for them. Into the final seconds of round one with the way this fight started, I'm surprised we cut this far. Saban leading 2-0, but in control. Cuba's Felix Savon grew up in Guantanamo City, just outside the American naval base in Cuba, distinguished himself in boxing as a youngster, and now in Berlin, he's going for his fifth world championship in Cuba's fourth gold of the tournament. Savon leads Luan Krasnicki of Germany 2-0 as we get set for the start of round number two. Krasnicki has already taken two eight counts. And one was on a beautiful, hard right hand to the body, which landed with authority, but of course, none of the judges saw it. There's there, Russ, that Savon is in control. This fight quickly to the attack, scores two points, one of those with another body shot, and so he leads 4 nothing. Yeah, good right hand again. I said earlier he was looking for that right hand to the body, and he certainly has found the mark with it. You see, Chris Nicky, I think some of the wind has been taken out of him, because as soon as they get in close, he grabs right onto Savon. And there is a whole lot of power behind those body shots. Oh, there's a good jab caught Chris Nicky coming in. Look at Chris Nicky grab the arms. Look at him. And now push him away. Al said Segura not worried about this fight. You may recall how different his mood was when he watched his light heavyweight, Diaz Vanny Vega, en route to losing to Antonio Tarver of the U.S. in that gold medal final. And even Chris Nicky's clothes are taking a beating here. He's uh, sent <laughs> to his corner to get his top fixed. He's being shredded, you say? So we're 
early in round number two. Felix Savon of Cuba in control against Luan Krasnicki. A bank clerk by trade. There he is again, just grabbing on. Look at him with, look at him with his left hand, just holding on to Savon's back. He's basically just trying to survive here at this point. And you know he wants to do well in front of the hometown fans, uh, Scott. I mean, low blow. A body shot, I guess that was, by Savon. Well, we'll have to see if Nicky, we'll have to see if Jeffing is low. Yeah, I don't, we'll have to see if the referee calls it as a low blow or not. Yes, he's called it as a low blow. So, in, in that case, this standing eight count will not go against him. It will not be considered a standing eight count as a result of either a, a knockdown or, or what have you. This is like do, uh, on a foul blow, so it does not take into consideration on the amount of eight counts in a round. So, Savon was cautioned to keep his punches up, and the fight continues. You can see the German simply trying to hang on to Savon at every opportunity. There's that right hand again. And you know, the thing is, I mean, Savon's out there trying that right hand to the body, and Krasnicki is doing nothing to try to block it. As a matter of fact, look how far his elbows are away from his body. He's still leaving that whole target open, so Savon's going to take advantage of it. Good right by Savon there for his fifth point of the bout. And Krasnicki grabbing on now. There's a caution for holding and headlocking. The referee said he'd seen enough of that, so he took points away from Krasnicki. They were added to Savon's total, and now it's a 7 nothing lead for the Cuban. Look at him grabbing on again. If he keeps doing this, the referee's not going to have any choice but to disqualify him. And, you know, you don't want to get disqualified in front of your hometown fans. You want to go out at least in a blaze, give it your best shot. They'd be more, more proud if he was to get tagged on the chin and take the eight count and the referee stops the fight than to lose on a disqualification. It's obvious, though, that Krasnicki knows he's in just too tough against Felix Savon. And the referee is being lenient with him, too. He's let him get away with it. There it is, the grabbing again. Now the ref could come in right now and take another point away clearly. So Felix Savon's fifth consecutive world championship is well in hand. Ooh, right hand almost got through. That's just grazed by the chin of Chris Gap yeah, is now hand. eight points. Make it nine for Felix Savon as he maintains control. Just hanging on for Nicky, is it? Look at him jumping in. That's going to be another caution. That'll be another point. No, nope, well, that'll be the end it. of the fight. He's stopping it. Is it on a disqualification or, or not? If, if he would have disqualified him, he would have had to signal that he took the points away. I think he's just calling it a stopping. RSC. Whatever, Russ. The referee has seen enough, and he stopped it. Uh, I think this is a good call because Nicky was not interested in boxing Saban. And so with just a few seconds to go in round two, the referee stops the contest. 